Steph Curry under serious pressure against the Magic angrily jumps up and down telling James Wiseman to help. When he finally sets the screen and rolls back, Wiseman rolls his eyes because Steph Curry didn't pass. It all ends with a Steph brick. People went to Twitter, accused Wiseman of showing up the greatest player in franchise history and of being spoiled, but they missed something big about that play. A Warriors writer named Joe Veray pointed out Steve Kerr calling a play called Horn's Twist that looks like this. Two players set a screen for Steph to get an open shot. Now go back to the play. Wiseman should be in front of Jermichael Green setting a pick, but he's late. That eye roll could be Wiseman mad at himself for messing up another play. He knows he's on thin ice and this was horrible. We don't know why he was upset, but it does show the Warriors have a problem. The defending champs replaced three players 28 plus years old with three who are 21 and younger. And it's been a disaster. They have the worst road record of any defending champ since 1957, and that ain't because of the starters. If you look at the rankings of every bench in the NBA, the Warriors are dead last by a lot. That's a problem that requires a solution. Every night you see it, James Wiseman getting beat on a rebound by a player six inches shorter. Jonathan Kaminga not playing when healthy. Jordan Poole is guilty too. Against the Magic, RJ Hampton muscles by him like he's Giannis, but he weighs 20 pounds less than Poole. I will admit Moses Moody has looked decent, but the Warriors are making a huge mistake that could hurt Steph Curry. To compete late in his prime, they have to continue consider a trade. And I know people said that last year and the Warriors still won. This is not last year. This team is in deep trouble. Look at the average age of a championship bench, about 28 years old. The age of this Golden State bench, 23. That is nowhere near what it takes. Last year, Golden State won with a slightly younger bench, yes, but by taking guys out of the rotation, Kaminga and Moody barely played in the finals. Wiseman was out entirely. They have a dream of developing the kids and winning now. That didn't happen last year, don't be fooled. The real test of the dream is now, and it's not working. But the biggest failure is James Wiseman. And I hate to say that because he genuinely seems like a good kid. The Warriors took him number two over LaMelo and he got hurt his rookie season. Last year, Wiseman had to sit and watch his teammates win without him. And that hurt. He opened up about having to go to therapy to deal with it. When his big injury hit, it was so tough. He says, I was crying so hard, I couldn't even get to my mom's apartment. She had to carry me. I was just crushed having a lot of nights where I I was crying a lot. I had thoughts like, I wish this happened differently. So nobody wants to see him fail, but we have to look at the facts. According to an advanced stat called Raptor, Wiseman is one of, if not, the worst role player in the league. The good news, they have maybe the best player in the league, Steph Curry. So what happens when they play together? Well, Steph on his own has a plus 12.5 net rating, elite. With Wiseman, it drops 32 points to negative 19.5. But despite everything I just said, Warrior fans should be really excited. Why? Because when you look at the best lineups in the NBA, Golden State is number four. The best starting five is Milwaukee with a plus 35.9 point differential, then the Grizz, then the Suns, then Golden State. So even though they have a worse record than the Kings and the Thunder, this is amazing. If you factor in their championship experience, I would take the Warriors starting line up over everybody but that's also proof they need to make a trade don't let last year fool you this starting lineup needs solid veteran role players these young guys are dragging them down so what trade should they make that's where it gets tough because wiseman's value has never been this low and we're gonna get to possible trade targets but if this happens it'll change everything we thought we knew about the dubs before the season, Draymond punched Jordan Poole, and it came out this could be his last year in the Bay. I can tell you right now that Draymond Green is expecting this to be his last year in Golden State.
And a big reason why is financials. The Warriors can't afford to pay everybody on the team. The owner, Joe Lacob, even came out and said that in the media. First, Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole got paid. Then, Kaminga and Wiseman were supposed to get first dibs on replacing Draymond. But now, they may not be good enough. Now the Warriors might be thinking, we should pay and keep Draymond because he is crucial to what makes us a contender. These other guys might not be special after all, or at least they might not be on our timeline and the starters need backup, that is obvious. One thing they will not do is trade Draymond. ESPN just reported, the Warriors have not engaged in any trade talks centering on green and don't plan to as of now, sources said. Okay, I don't don't like as of now, but it's pretty clear that would be stupid. The only trade chips should be one or more young players. And the first plan of action, send Wiseman to the G League. He needs to get his confidence back and to show what he can do as the focal point of an offense. Steve Kerr just hinted, Kaminga is gonna get more minutes. I think that would come at the expense of Wiseman. All it would do if he's sitting on the bench playing 10 minutes a game is hurt his confidence. But if he goes to the G League, it could raise his value. And one trade that makes sense, the Warriors get Jakob Pertl and two first round picks. The Spurs get James Wiseman. And before Warrior fans jump down my throat, hear me out. When the Spurs traded DeJounte Murray, they got what? Gallinari and three first round picks. The price for Wiseman, an even better vet than Gall and two first round picks. Yeah, he gets fewer first than DeJounte Murray, who is an all-star. What is Wiseman? He's a project who's having a hard time adjusting to the NBA. Forget that he was the number two pick. That is inflating his value in your mind. Sometimes you have to cut your losses and admit it didn't work out. And I'm not saying Wiseman can't be great in the future. That's why the Spurs would be taking a gamble on him, but he isn't good enough for this team right now. But you know who is? Jakob Pertl. He is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Not only is he averaging 12 points and 10 boards a game, he has great defense and he's 27 years old. I know dude looks like he's 35, but he's the same age as Andrew Wiggins. Instead of having to pay Wiseman a $100 million salary in the future, they get Pertl, who doesn't expect a star's paycheck. That's the problem with being a number two overall pick. Wiseman will want to get overpaid and he'll feel like it's a slap in the face if he does it. Now, that becomes the Spurs problem. The lower salary for Pirtle means Golden State can afford to keep all the remaining players, including Draymond Green. Otherwise, they are throwing away Steph's late prime to develop young guys who might not even be that good. But one guy who is developing actually is Bull Bull. And I know I made a video about him this time last year saying, I am done with him. He is not good enough. His attitude is really the problem, but it turns out something else was holding him back, and we finally just found out after he is a candidate for most improved player. Check it out. 